When Google first announced that it was launching the Pixel 4a 5G, I thought to myself, oh, that's just going to be a Pixel 4 with 5G built in. But I couldn't have been more wrong. The Pixel 4a 5G is more than that. A mix between the $349 Pixel 4a from two months ago and the 699 Pixel 5, which launched alongside the 4a 5G last week. So which one should you buy? Hi, I'm Michael Josh. You're watching Gadget Match. This is our 2020 Google Pixel Buyer's Guide. Before we begin, let's unbox the Pixel 4a 5G. If you'd like to see the Pixel 4a unboxing and review, you can click up here. We're also working on a Pixel 5 unboxing and review that's coming next week. Now, if this is the content that you'd like to see, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and help us reach our next milestone. Just like the Pixel 4a, we have a black Pixel 4a 5G with us today. Their boxes are almost identical, except that it's larger and has the word 5G on it. When we lift up this lid, you'll find the Pixel 4a 5G awaits. We clearly have the just black model, which comes with a matte finish. Like the Pixel 4a, the 4a 5G has a polycarbonate shell. Also, a bit of trivia for you. The Just Black 4A has a mint green power button, while the 4A 5G has a lavender button. We'll put it aside for now. Also in the box, user guide and SIM ejector tool, an 18 watt fast charger, USB-C to C cable, and a quick switch adapter, more commonly called an OTG dongle, to help you migrate from an old iPhone or Android phone. <laughs> Before we move any further, it needs to be said, the naming of these devices leaves a lot to be desired. This is the Pixel 4, announced in October 2019. And this is the Pixel 4a 5G, announced a full year later. It's confusing AF. It should have just been called the Pixel 5 Lite, the Pixel 5, and the Pixel 5 Pro. Something to that effect that has levels, but doesn't confuse the fact that these three phones are all part of the same 2020 Google Pixel family. And I'm only saying this because if me as a reviewer am confused, how much more the average consumer? In the hands, the Pixel 4a 5G looks like the big brother of the Pixel 4, almost like the Pixel 3 and 3a XL from last year were to each other. This year, there's no XL Pixel 4a, no XL Pixel 5 for that matter. And while we're on the topic, last year's phones looked more fun. Both phones have rear-mounted fingerprint sensors, single downward firing speakers, and single nano SIM card trays with no provisions for expandable storage. But both have headphone jacks. There's a $150 price difference between the 4A and the 4A 5G. For that premium, you get support for 5G networks. Not a big deal today, but it definitely future-proofs your device. It's got a bigger screen, but with the same OLED display, same resolution, and refresh rate. And because of its bigger size, a bigger battery. The last two differences, however, are where the Pixel 4a 5G starts to look more like the Pixel 5. They run the same premium mid-range Snapdragon 765G processor, a bit of a speed bump over the Pixel 4a, and both have a second camera, an ultra wide angle lens. So when should you buy the Pixel 4a 5G over the Pixel 4a? Personally, I'd pay the extra $150 for that bigger battery, the second camera, and the bigger screen. Of course, if none of these three features are important to you, then save your money. But if you're the type of user who likes to hold on to your phone for at least three years or longer, then paying extra for that more powerful processor and 5G support will make sure that your device can do more longer. The Pixel 4a 5G ships with Android 11 out of the box, so you're guaranteed three years of Android updates, meaning you'll get Android 12, 13, and 14. There's a larger $200 gap between the 4a 5G and the Pixel 5, which gives you more features that users have come to expect from a top-of-the-line smartphone. A faster 90Hz display, an IP rating for water and dust resistance, wireless charging, and an all-aluminum build. There's also slightly more RAM and a larger battery. 
We'll cover more of this in our Pixel 5 review, but I think it's important to point out this change of direction for Google. When they first launched the original Pixel, it was a pretty pricey smartphone. This time around though, instead of peddling a thousand dollar phone with specs that most casual consumers may not need, they're giving you a phone that can do all the basics and then some with a 5G processor that can handle your gaming and multitasking needs. The rest they make up for with software. All three phones have the same 12.2 megapixel main camera, which Google has used since the Pixel 3. But Google's computational photography is unrivaled, allowing their phones using years old hardware to compete head to head with 2020's best. These two new devices get a few new features like being able to use portrait mode with night sight, as well as some portrait lighting effects that you can also apply to photos taken on older devices. The Pixel 4a 5G and Pixel 5 both get the same new ultra-wide angle camera, replacing the telephoto lens on the Pixel 4. We'll get into more photo comparisons in our Pixel 5 review, but for now, take a look at some sample shots we took using the Pixel 4a 5G. So, which of these 2020 Google Pixels is your gadget match? For me, the draw of a Google Pixel smartphone is its industry-leading camera software, particularly its performance in low light. And secondly, the pure, unadulterated version of Android, immediate access to Android OS releases, and Google's three-year upgrade guarantee. This year, Google adds a third reason for you to join Team Pixel, and that's a competitive price tag. At 349, the Pixel 4a is the best value for money camera phone one can buy today. At 499, the Pixel 4a 5G is more future proof with a faster processor, bigger battery, 5G support, and that extra wide angle camera. And at 699, the Pixel 5 is Google's most affordable top of the line model yet. Not quite as spec pushing as before, but with all the high end essentials like a fast display an IP rating, and premium materials. What do you think of Google's new pricing strategy and which of these 2020 models is your gadget match? Sound off in the comments section below and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we post our Pixel 5 review. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff, including some sample photos. And as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.